This video you're about to watch is going to explain how I went from this, a mild-mannered citizen, to this, the crazy balloon guy. Hold on, this is a good story. I promise you, this is gonna be worth hanging around for. All right, so here's how it all started. My wife saw a guy on TikTok, of course, who was doing balloon animals, and she thought that we should probably try it. Uh, my parents happened to participate in the craft fair every year, and they said we could join them for free. So of course we immediately went to Walmart and bought some balloon animals and started trying to learn how to tie some balloon animals. So anyway, that's the beginning of the story. It's freaking cold out here. Several days later. I was on the Nextdoor app today and as I was looking through posts, I saw a little like ad looking icon hovering over a school nearby and it was for another craft fair. Anyway, I think what I wanna do is reach out and see if they have any spots left at this craft fair. I'm kind of feeling like all in at this point. I feel like there's some money to be made here. And so I feel like if like what's better than one craft fair, it's two. So I'm shooting off an email right now to see if they have any other spots. I'm hoping to hear back and I'll let you guys know soon. It's a little later in the day. Uh, I actually got an email back from whoever's coordinating this craft fair at the school. They said that they don't have any booth space available. I emailed her back and said, hey, well, I don't really need a booth space. I, you know, I don't take up much space. I can probably just stand or walk around and hand these out. She emailed right back and said we can totally make that work and since you don't need a booth space you can just come for free and uh, I told her I'll be handing out the balloons for free and just asking for tips anyway she said that they were super excited they didn't have anything like this at this craft fair yet so I'm going to this craft fair as well and we're just gonna see how it goes this school that that's hosting this craft fair is probably seven eight times the size of this other craft fair this original craft fair we're doing so there's potential for a lot more traffic this lady said she's gonna send out some marketing material saying that they have a professional balloon artist. So as of today, I am now a professional balloon artist. I guess it's time that I better start learning how to tie some balloon animals. All right, quick update for y'all. I just found out that the two craft fairs are on the same day. I feel like I checked and double checked that these were on two separate days so that my wife and I would be able to attend both. We'd be able to help each other out, make sure that everything goes well since we've never done this before. Uh, but turns out they're on the same day at the exact same time. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I. I don't know. Should I go to this one and have her go to the other one? Should we just drop one and go to one? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, so frustrating though. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know. I will update you soon. I was just editing another video and I had an idea. Um, I think we're not gonna go to the second craft fair. It just doesn't really make sense. We've never done this before and I don't want to totally mess up and make a fool of myself. So the plan is I was gonna order some more balloons from Amazon. Uh, and I think what I can do is I'll just tell the lady who was organizing this craft fair. I didn't get the order shipped in time or I decided I, I wasn't able to order or whatever. I don't know. She doesn't know anything about balloon animals. Honestly, I don't either. But if I tell her that, then she'll understand that I just won't be able to make it. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. What am I doing, you ask? Well, I am making a poster for the second craft fair we're going to. Yes, I never emailed the lady and I never told her I'm not coming, so I have to go. Luckily, I did order the balloons in time. They got here just yesterday and we're going to this craft fair tomorrow morning. Oh, it's gonna be good. I hope got the sign done. Looks pretty good. I'm not very artistic, so not bad at all. Um, it is 11 p.m. The craft fair starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I've been working to get everything ready here. You can see I got my dip box. This is gonna be interesting, to say the least. I have done very little preparation. I don't think I've tied a balloon animal. Seriously, I haven't practiced for a couple weeks, so hopefully we'll wake up a little bit early tomorrow and practice. Also, this balloon pump here broke, so I have super glued it, and I am praying that it holds up tomorrow. That's about where we're at. Hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully it is lucrative. I will let you know tomorrow. See ya. All right, it's bright and early. I'm gonna talk a little bit quiet. I don't wanna wake the baby up. And it's also a little dark in here. I'll flip, get the light flipped on. I wanted to do a little bit of practice before we, uh, before I head out to the fair. So I'm gonna do that now. <sighs> okay, I've tried blowing up a few of the balloons now. They're just popping like crazy. It seems like they're a little bit of a thinner material. I don't know if I got the wrong kind. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm a little bit stressed. There's a few things that are a little bit harder on the balloons. I'll probably have to cut them off, but I have to head out. I don't really have much more time to put into this. So wish me luck. 
Um, hopefully I get some good clips at the fair for you guys. See you there. All right, I had just got to the fair at this point. I got everything set up. I found that I could put my little balloons on the windowsill, which was awesome. Doing a little bit of practicing and tying to calm my nerves. I ended up working out great. The kids loved the balloons. It was fun seeing everyone walk around and play with the stuff that I had made them and got some great tips. I just finished up at the craft fair this morning. Um, it's like just after noon, we started at eight. I ran out of balloons. Uh, it was really, really popular. The tips were really slow at first. It was mostly like students coming up and getting balloons who weren't tipping, which is fine. Uh, they're free. Uh, but then as the day went on, you know, more kids were coming with their, their families and parents and the tips really picked up. So anyway, got my tip box here. I'm about to count up. Let you know, let you know what we got. So it was about 70 bucks. Uh, so for four hours, that's about 17 and a half dollars an hour. So not bad. Um, I'm gonna head over to another fair and I think keep going this afternoon. So I'll check in later. My daughter-in-law is doing balloon animals. <clears throat> All right, this is the part where I tell you how everything went. I have a microphone. Um, I, it's the day after, oh my gosh, it's the day after the fairs. And let me just tell you, we had so much fun. It was way better than I thought it would be. Overall, we made like 140 bucks between the two fairs. It was so much fun. It was so fun to interact with the kids, learn a new skill, uh, make a little bit of money. I think we did end up spending like 50 bucks on supplies just because of the practicing element that we had to learn this new skill. It wasn't quite as lucrative as I had hoped, but made a little bit of extra money right before Christmas. So it was just a ton of fun and I would totally do it again. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tale of how I became a professional balloon artist. If you guys love content like this, please subscribe to the channel. We are working hard to come up with some really fun and awesome videos. We have a video coming up where Sam nearly got pulled into a pyramid scheme. And I think the way that he tells the story is just hilarious. So stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel and we'll see you in the next one.